Hey, what is up guys? Rage Butter here. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all of you that have been watching so far. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you guys spread the word, kind of get the channel to grow. But I have been grinding these videos out for you guys just because I'm going to be a little bit busy here soon. i got a lot on my plate uh, going to school full-time and working a full-time job. So I'm trying to make sure that whenever I do have the free time that I'm getting you guys good enough content and... Hopefully, you guys, if you bear with me, I'll get used enough to making these videos that I'll get a little better at it. But without further ado, let's get into this, uh, and boop! If I'm not mistaken, last time we left off, we were in Fishmouth. We just got past the weird, like, farmer's couple or whatever. Yep. Man. I don't know about you guys, but this guy reminds me of, like, a character in Spongebob. Uh, it was, like, the one where they, like, in... Bikini Bottom, or like the the under the dark side of Bikini bomb, Bottom. I don't know. SpongeBob references. That dude looks like a frog. Citizen eating sandwich. Citizen with newspaper. Idle citizen. Such creative names. And a jalopy. Let's check the jalopy out. It has reached its final destination. It's not taking me anywhere. She could care less about it. Probably right. Hmm. I just stared at this guy while he eats a sandwich. It's a fishmouth citizen enjoying his sandwich. Oh, really? I couldn't have, you know... I wouldn't have ever made that out on my own. Good evening, good sir. Evening, stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong, I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the Mechanic. Uh, no, I, I mean my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. <sighs> cool and unusual. I like how his name's The Mechanic. The Mechanic? Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from around Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsport the Plumbers. The they Plumbers. Hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts, too. <laughs> Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Alright. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. What? Them poor, poor striped horses. Uh... Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us humans? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah. In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah, I swore off zebra meat forever. What? Never felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. So, are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing, eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. <laughs> what can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in. But the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order... The... order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Oh. Yeah, that's what I hear. Oh. Uh, yeah, video games make you dumb. Who would ever play one of those, right? Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Now that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? I, uh, would like to have it? You would, wouldn't you? Well, I tell you what, I'll trade you for it. What do you have in mind? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps? Yours? Huh? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, I don't know what came over me. Been playing these dark sci-fi adventure games. They've been messing with me. True as I'm sitting here and telling you. Murder simulators, awful stuff. Indeed. Where was I? Oh yeah. Get me something refreshing, and you got the sandwich. 
I think you'll like this can of Dr. Fisher. Why, I sure will. Dr. Fisher's trademark. My <laughs> trademark. favorite. This gonna go down real good once I'm done with my sandwich. Made with the finest, most odorous fish muth water. Mm -mm. A deal's a deal, Mr. Kremlin. Here's your sandwich. <laughs> Say my name wrong. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Milton. Enjoy your other sandwich. Got a cookie and a sandwich. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah. I don't want to involve her. Let's talk to this creepy guy over here that looks like he has no nose. Hi there. You staying at the Finmans tonight? I... I might be. Good luck. <laughs> uh, that wasn't ominous at all. We're just playing out weird. Uh, hello there. <clears throat> what a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it? Evening? Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Mm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. Uh, you know, the salty sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder. Charming. <laughs> Mr. Finman, I presume. That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you've got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishmouth. There anything I can do for you, stranger? Bob Olmstein. <sighs> what did you just say? Oh, God. My spleen? You should have that checked out, stranger. Your spleen plays multiple important roles in your body. It's a filter for blood and part of your immune system. It also helps fight bacteria, especially the kind that causes pneumonia and meningitis. So I've heard. Okay, thanks for the info. Oh, cooked great. spleen's supposed to taste real yummy. I, I don't mean the human kind, of course. I, I wouldn't know about that. <clears throat> very uh, interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say, you seem very educated. I'd like a room, please. Mm, I'd love to help you out, sir. We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Booked the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. Why you come here? You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <clears throat> yeah, and I've been known to judge a man. He was nosy and skinny. Too skinny. <sighs> skinny. I try to eat right, Mr. Finman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Sorry. M must be this uh, hunger I guts up in me. What is so funny about that? Oh, nothing. Fish with humor. You ain't got the stomach for it. <laughs> Sheesh. So, about that room. We's all booked. See that pilgrim standing over there? Him and his kind done booked up every single room except the one. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love to serve you. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Oh, think nothing of it, stranger. It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. 
Makes me say all kind of things. Pay no mind. Uh, well, let me... Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a... I'm a meat man myself, but... Right now, I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I got to wash it down some, and I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean like alcohol, right? You was pretty smart for a stranger. All meat, huh? Got any preferences, or anything goes? Oh, I got my preferences. <laughs> Man, this guy's just creepy as hell. <laughs> Sorry, skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? What'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> this guy's just weird. How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them, them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Are the Pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, you can say that. You no, can they're gonna eat the Pilgrims. <laughs> That's one exceptionally jovial innkeep. Anyway... I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> okay, get tired of listening to his laugh. Hello! Okay then. So, see, I think if I give him the sandwich. I think I'd feed him something different, though. So, I need to get alcohol, so I guess I gotta get the. Hmm. If I try and give this guy the cookie. Doesn't look like a cookie enthusiast. Oh, wait a minute. What if I put the on the coffee? No picture? need, I know what it is. I know you know. Nothing to pour it in. So I bet if I get a bottle and pour the coffee into it and then put the label on it, I could trick him into thinking it's alcohol and giving him the cookie. Which I think think of Let's go look at that trash can. I bet there's something to pour. Fascinating wonders might await deep in its smelly confines, but I won't be the one to discover them. Okay. Even darker alley. Okay. I don't think I'll venture down the dark, foul-smelling, creepy alley anytime soon. Oh, wait. I think I could get a mug from the gift shop, I think. I think that was something... That you're able to do. So we'll go back to the gift shop and see if we can't get a mug. Then we'll put the label on the mug, maybe. Oh wait, that kid has a that girl has a milk carton or something. So maybe we can get the milk carton. Bunch of ideas. Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie. Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, uh, Tad and Pole. What are you drinking there, Annie? Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you, very nutritious. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Hey, Annie, think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Ah, oh, poor Tad. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. He'd prefer his sandwich. Oh, but okay. He'll have to settle for milk because it's all I've got. This is going to be it. one of those, like, I trade with you to trade with this person to trade with that person. Maybe Tad would like this sandwich. Oh, thanks, Buzz. He'll love it. Don't mention it. Think I could get some of that dolphin milk now? Sure. Here you go. 
Sweet. Is uh, everything okay with Tad? What do you mean? Well, his eyes are... Uh... Wide apart? Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. Right, let's see if we can't put the exact label on the nah, Yeah, no need to claim it's not milk. Okay. Provide door. Hello? Go away. Oh, but you see, I'm just interested in local culture and. Go away! Okay. That wasn't. <laughs> Ooh. Hello? Go away. But maybe I have a very important message to deliver. Go away. These are <sighs> very demonic and ominous voices we've got going here. I can't just swipe one. Better talk to the clerk. Oh. About that going away gift. I take it you've made a wise decision. I'll have the coffee mug. An uh, interesting choice, sir. There you are. Be seen ya. I wish you would reconsider. Good day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everyone has interesting voices in this town. I kind of like it. Let's see. Let's get going through there. Might have to talk to that thug eventually, but... Huh. Go in there. Do we want to pour the milk into the... I kind of want to pour something else in it. So we are gonna end. Okay. He's unmoved. Serve him his own coffee. Yeah, sure. Nah, I like the silly text on it. Okay. Milk and cookies sounds great, except not this cookie, no way. Better talk to him first. Milk for this guy? Hello, well. Okay, so that won't work. So that coffee will have to be for someone else, I guess. Oh, gate. I don't think we've been back there yet. Let's see what else we can find. An old drunkard. Basket of fish. That's where we came from, I'm sure. Fish, I'm not a fan of. Badly decayed ones, even less so. A rotting basket full of putrid fish, or the other way around. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, and get his booze. I didn't even think of it. he's a drunkard. Hi there, Gramps. What's your... Uh, get, get lost, youngun. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish. Fishmouth ain't no place for you, boy. Well, at least you fishmuthians are consistent about that. You should not be drinking that, old timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? <laughs> Go, get Zadok. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? It's not a choice, sonny boy. 
If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Uh, nah. Rather drink, boy. Whiskey makes one forget. Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? Mr. Zadok, I brought you something. What is it, boy? Coffee. What? Get the gosh darned abomination out of my face! Huh, this gives me an idea. I gotta run. Run, boy! Never return! There we go. Pick that up. See, I feel like we're moving a lot faster through the story than we had been. I guess my dumbass is finally catching on to how this game works. Oh, we... What happened to the coffee? Oh, I guess he just took the coffee and we poured the milk inside the... I think I want to pour something else inside first. Oh. What else would I want to pour inside of it? Oh, the coffee. Maybe we gotta get more coffee? I don't know what else we would get. I don't think we'd go back to him. Oh, so the one occupied room is this pilgrim's. No, it's someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Flinman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> hey, shut up. Uh. Serve him his own coffee. Yeah, sure. Better talk to him first. Well, you don't give me the option to say anything to him. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish. <laughs> Ew. Fishmouth folk. It's fishmouth business. We fish got our own business. to look up to. Don't need your funny smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The order don't take kindly to strangers. The order? What order? Nah, never you mind them. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. Might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. Interesting. That's all I can tell you. I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> so we can't give him the alcohol yet. Now's not the time for a dangerous snack. I wonder if I could take the putrid rotting fish and like distill it. Probably unlikely, but How you holding up, kitty? Well, I talk now. We just did some voodoo. Now we're in fish people town. At least you're keeping things interesting. I am. It is technically all your fault. Mine? It's Dawn's. Anyway, let's hustle. Your fault. What? Time to samba!
wonder if there's any new dialogue with him. Because I gotta figure out how to get to. Oh, wait! Got you later, I know Milton. what to do. You probably will. My we'll give it to the old timer and get the real booze from him. That makes sense. Yep, that's what we're supposed to do. Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. What is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? It says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. Supposed to have a real kick to it. L let me see that. <sighs> Smells like nothing I ever smelled before. And I can't say it's bad either. He looks like he shit himself. What is this devilry, boy? Kinda got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like... It's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Whew, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's alright with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Puzz. Hey, you remember my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmouth? What is it you want to know, Buzz? What is the order? That would be a good question. Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmouth? Where do I begin, my friend? See, you're stuck of a curse that runs through most of Fishmouth's residents' blood. Turn them into fish and toad-like things. And then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes. Hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliott Street. Seen them. Hideous fishmen and octopus like monsters. Caught a glimpse Ugh. of them in the moonlight. Heard their awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse. The nah, curse. Buzz, it weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. Sounds like a dealer to me. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? <laughs> I don't know that, Buzz. But I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for their evil festival. I like this guy. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon. Fishmouth folks worshipping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshipping Dagon. In sacrifices they bring to him. Uh -oh. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. What do you think sacrifice but means? What I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Crackham Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofa. Half go what? The half goofa. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. Ever heard of a man called Bob Olmstein? Can't say I ever did. He's supposed to be staying at the Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks legend here have a habit of disappearing without a trace. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. I've got a confession to make. What's that, Buzz? The whiskey I gave you that you love so much. That's actually coffee. Oh, what? Well, I'll be darned. You sure pulled a fast one on old Zadok, haven't you? Well, good on you, Buzz. But you know what? Good on me, too. 
Because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. I guess I love coffee, and I gotta live with myself now. I just might be hooked on it. Well, better than whiskey. You're right, Buzz. And when you're right, you're right. Right? <laughs> right. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. We go to leave, he gets oh, kidnapped by a bunch of boy. freaks in robes, like... Rit! Sorry, I'm an idiot. Nice guy aura restored. Cool. I don't really know what the auras and everything mean. Anyway, we have a good basis of where to go from here. So let's go and get uh, this whiskey to this guy. Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. We should have, like, drugged ah, it or something. And that hit the spot. Because I feel like he's going to try and eat her spleen. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has you? Fine piece oh, of pastry? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... Uh... What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either. My roommate... Wait a minute! Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. I'm returning his cat. Okay, I'll come clean. I accidentally got involved in a mess that I can't make heads or tails of. That's why I'm here looking for him. I see. Here, Mr. Olmstein. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case, I suggest you turn around and run. Or, your intentions are pure and your heart innocent. In which case, we can talk. My heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumble into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir. And this, this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kid type. Exactly. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? It's gotta be real. May my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is. Uh, an exception will be made. Mm. We'll walk up to his room, and we'll see from there. Why are you pointing at me like that? <laughs> I like the voice actor's voice for him, though. I feel like he's Olmstein, though. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. Oh. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that weird fish lady on the wall. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kitty. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. <laughs> okay, first of all, how do you know Dawn? 
I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madman? What madman? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. Or the... The Butcher. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. I've heard of the Esoteric Order, what's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here, in Fishmoth? The half goofa The half goofa Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but are you going to do something about the half goofa They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely, but I'll think of something. I must. The Butcher? Tell me about the Butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that, but what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach. And watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Anyway... About Olmstein. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here, though he walks among us, he is not like us. Oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Can you describe Olmstein for me? Ha! Huh, that would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. But the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway, changing subject. So, he does this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. Alright, so guys, this video is getting a little longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to make sure that you all got to see that little story bit. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, night, time, whatever, and we'll get back to it in the next video. Bye! And...